Hi, Ken back here again uh, with another mail or repair, FOF mail or repair. And uh, this is a 1221. Okay, this is Dave's machine. Uh, he purchased it a while back, maybe two to four years ago. And it never ran from the time he got it. Uh, and just basically he, get, he sent it to me and um, I rebuilt it. Okay, I refurbished these machines. All right, some of the parts that you can see here. All right, you got his cam that's cracked. It's got a big crack in it. This doesn't work well if you have a cracked cam because they expand and uh, they start to jam the machine up. His presser foot lever, lever had a crack in it and it was about to break off, so I replaced that. Uh, the belt has various cracks in it. You can see one right there, maybe. Uh, and this little guy here is the synchromatic stop switch. So when you push it down on the lever in the back here, okay, and you push it down like that, the machine should do a revolution once and stop. Uh, if it doesn't, then there's something wrong with this switch or with the settings on the circuit board, okay? Now, I'm using Dave's original foot pedal because uh, I haven't gotten the parts for the other foot pedal yet uh, that he wants to have and use. Okay, uh, they should be coming shortly and then I'll have to sync, sync the pr foot pedal up to the circuit board that's in the machine. Okay, because these pedals, uh, they have certain resistors and potentiometers in them and you know, you have to sync them to the machine. Otherwise, the machine will either run too slow or it'll run way too fast and you don't want it to run way too fast because you could burn out the motor on it alright uh, the other thing is you see the little gizmo up here okay this is mine and I know somebody asked me they wanted one of them alright uh, they don't make these anymore okay but I have been trying to make them alright I do have a part that I have made and it looks exactly, almost exactly, like the original part. All right. My problem is, is drilling the holes. All right, or getting the holes to be drilled in there. Um, they come out the side. They come out the sides here, and I, I can't sell it to you like that. Even if it, even if it looks exactly like this. So, um, I'm still working on it, and hopefully I'll, I'll get it to come out. Um, as soon as I can, I'll let people know. I'll put them up on eBay and, and uh, let you know that they're up for sale. Okay. Uh, now, let me show you Dave's machine. Um, the light works. Everything on it works. Okay. I had to rebuild the, the knob here because this little guy here, the, the white mark, okay, was out and everything that the machine wouldn't do a buttonhole or anything okay uh, this guy here the rod that connects it into the back uh, the set screw just wouldn't clamp it and uh, allow me to turn the assembly uh, so I had to put a flat spot on it Dave and um, basically it's a little bit off but it functions okay I can I can sit there and I can turn it around and it turns the assembly inside all right when when this mark if this if you ever see this mark on your machine migrate to the right to the left when you turn the outside di dial here okay that means that the bushing in the inside has become unbonded because Fluff in their wisdom went and glued it in okay there is a fix for it I do fix them I have to drill the housing out and put a set screw in it all right, and once I do that, the bushing stays set, and this guy doesn't move anymore. All right, uh, the other thing, let me clear some of this out. I can show you. If you look down in here, there's a little set screw that sticks out from the pressure foot bar. That was missing off of this machine. You need to have them in there, otherwise the presser foot will move all over the place like this one did uh, and it was missing the other thing inside this post here 
is a spring that was missing from this machine. Uh, the little gasket on the bottom, this is important because it keeps it from mashing into the foot pedal and, and, and just wearing it out. Okay, I had to replace that. Um, so, let me get this set up here. I'm going to put this on. During the video, you might hear the, the spool winding. It'll be a background noise every time the machine works, so don't mind that, all right? The other thing I want you to know is I'm going to sew through some canvas and I'll... Let me see if I can get this in here a little bit. Okay. These are the patterns that I did on your machine, Dave. All right. I got the buttonhole to work. I got all the patterns to work on your machine. So you should be happy with that. Um, we're going to take four layers of canvas, and I'll show you how it sounds. This will sound um, a little bit loud. Okay, whenever you go through dense material like this, the machine will sound louder than normal. All right, that's because it's, the, it's trying to push the needle through the fabric. All right, uh, I have five layers of denim here. Okay, it m will probably sound the same as the denim, the five layers of denim to the, the four layers of canvas because the canvas is denser. Okay. That set up. That in. Here we go. Okay. There you go. And I've done this the other time. I didn't like the video, so I just redid it. You know, so. There's the canvas. We'll go through the five layers of denim. Okay, now I'll show you the synchro. See, it stops. Every time you push it down, it goes up one revolution and stops. If your machine doesn't do that, that micro switch is out. Okay, there's your canvas. It's good on both sides. Alright, now I'll show you just a regular piece of material and you'll be able to hear the difference. It won't sound as loud. Okay. There you go. And it didn't sound as loud that time. Uh, the other thing, zoom this back out. Flip my screen around. Fix your bobbin winder, Dave. Okay, it, it'll wind now. You take the lever in, in the back, you set it up, and it winds before it didn't wind. So, anyway. This is Dave's machine, and it's all set. As soon as I get the parts for the, the foot pedal, I'll be sending it back, uh, and Dave will be happy. All right, well, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the video.